to support the traveling public as we embark on what is going to be an, an historic return to post-pandemic travel. With big crowds expected, flyers are being urged to take steps to make the travel experience quicker and safer. They include enrolling in TSA PreCheck to avoid long lines, utilizing touchless technology, and simply allowing extra time at the airport. While mask rules are starting to loosen in various places, that's not the case in our nation's airports and on flights. It is a federal mandate that one must wear a mask in an airport and we will not tolerate behavior that violates the law. Most passengers we spoke to know the masks are a necessary part of air travel for now. Do you feel a little safer that you're wearing that people have to wear masks in the airport? Well, to be honest, I do, uh, especially because there's a lot. We never know what's coming up next. So, um, yeah, it, it helps out with, you know, feeling safe. One challenge that still lies ahead is getting international travel fully back on track. This is something that we are evaluating each and every day. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow the science and making the appropriate decision for the American public. Travel experts expect some reopening of international routes this summer. Elise Preston, New York. It's your guardian angel. It's your muse. It's your smart dress, tech and tent, safety obsessed superhero. The Hyundai Sonata and Elantra. Hey, it's your journey. Own it. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the Elantra or Sonata. Or get up to 3,000 in total savings. Only at your Valley Hyundai dealer. When you've been diagnosed with cancer, every minute counts. But one call is all it takes to go from waiting for an appointment to having one in as little as 24 hours. One call is all it takes to have your own team of cancer doctors all in one location who specialize in treating complex and advanced stage cancer, quickly targeting and treating your cancer with precision medicine. One call is all it takes. Cancer Treatment Centers of America, how may I help you? Call now. Visit OrlandoAutoBody.com for a virtual repair estimate for your damaged car. Diamonds at their lowest prices in years. Half-carat solitaires are now $4.99, one-carat $9.90, two-carat $12.50 per carat, plus one-carat studs $5.99. And the guaranteed lowest prices on thousands of GIA diamonds. Buy direct. The Jewelry Exchange Phoenix. Do you know Tucker? Tucker Hill AC Plumbing and Electric. Time for Tucker.com. For all your home and residential electrical needs, call Tab Electric. Everyone was in shock uh, when it happened. Um, it, it was, it was just, it was a catastrophe. Well, now at nine o'clock, a bounce house of horror. Kids hurled into the air when a strong gust of wind sent them flying. We speak with one little boy who is inside. Also tonight, new details in the disturbing rape case involving an incapacitated woman at a nursing facility. The key evidence prosecutors can now use in the trial. And later, bad news for Mexican Airlines. The warning tonight from the FAA and what it means for you and your vacations. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Heather Moore. Hi, everybody. I'm Jared Dillingham. 3 TV News at 9 starts right now. And first at 9 tonight, a mother and her husband, each facing a first-degree murder charge. Chad and Lori Daybell were slapped with several new charges today. They all stem from the deaths of Lori's children, Ty Lee and JJ. The kids went missing right after their mother moved them from Chandler up to Idaho. Investigators found the siblings buried in the backyard of her new husband, Chad Daybell, in June. The grand jury also indicted the couple in the death of Tammy Daybell. She was Chad's wife who mysteriously died around the time the children went missing and just before Chad and Lori got married. Uh, this is a story that's made headlines all over the country. And the investigation has taken us from the valley to Hawaii to Idaho. Our team coverage on today's major developments begins with our Kim Powell, the only local reporter in the room. As these murder charges were announced today, she's live for us in Idaho tonight. Kim? Yeah, this was a major development in this case. Everyone leading up to this case always asked us, when are Lori and Chad going to face murder charges? Well, today they were uh, indicted on murder charges as well as conspiracy charges. The unprecedented cooperation among law enforcement has been remarkable. 
and every person who has worked on this case is to be commended for their diligence and steadfast pursuit of the facts. It's a case that gripped the nation. Lori Vallow, a seemingly perfect mother, lied to police about where her kids, JJ and Tylee, were after they disappeared in September 2019. Then she secretly moved to Hawaii with her new husband, Chad Daybell, all while everyone else was asking, where are JJ and Tylee? It's been almost one year since their bodies were found buried in Chad's backyard. And Chad and Lori have been sitting in jail cells in Idaho for more than a year on charges of destroying evidence. And now they've been indicted for murder. Members of the grand jury deliberated and determined there is probable cause to believe the Daybells willfully and knowingly conspired to commit several crimes that led to the death of three innocent people. Three innocent people. 7-year-old JJ, 17-year-old Tylee, and Tammy Daybell, Chad's previous wife, who died at her home in October 2019. Chad Daybell was also indicted on two counts of insurance fraud related to life insurance policies he had on Tammy Daybell, for which he was the beneficiary and received funds after her death. According to the indictment, Chad increased Tammy's life insurance shortly before her death. Also in the court paperwork, Lori and Chad are accused of cashing in on JJ and Tylee's Social Security funds. We believe the crimes occurred on or about October 26th of 2018 to January 15th of 2020 in the county of Fremont, state of Idaho, and elsewhere, including Madison County. All of these charges come on what would have been JJ's ninth birthday. It's his birthday. It's uh, JJ's birthday today. Mm -hmm. And what a tragedy. There's a memorial on the fence across the street from the Daybell property for JJ and Tylee. To think that they were out there. In this small eastern Idaho community, everyone has been anxiously awaiting these new charges. I can't believe it. Yeah. What is going on? And I'm so wanting to know what happened to Tammy. Mm -hmm. I now, Tammy's parents and siblings released this statement tonight saying in part, first, we'd like to extend our continued love and heartfelt sympathy to the families of Tylee and JJ. Words cannot adequately express the depths of loss and pain that they are suffering, but we hope they know that they are not alone and we grieve and hold a place in our hearts with them at this time. Now, JJ and Tylee's grandparents, who we've been talking to throughout this whole investigation, they're here in Idaho tonight, but of course, they're understandably too upset and over overwhelmed with today's news, so they haven't made a comment just yet. Reporting live in Idaho, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family. And no doubt, though, Kim, this is the day that they have been waiting for. And tonight begins a new chapter in this tragic case. It is going to focus on legal wrangling. Lots of questions are unanswered at this point. The big one, of course, what direct evidence do prosecutors have that connects Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell to these murders? Our chief investigative reporter Morgan Lowe is in the newsroom for us tonight. And Morgan, uh, you've been following all of this as well. Does that indictment tell us whether prosecutors have a strong case at this point? Heather, it does not tell us much of anything about the case, aside from the fact that prosecutors believe they have enough to get convictions and they convinced a grand jury there was enough evidence to move forward. It was almost a year ago that investigators descended on Chad Daybell's Idaho property and found the remains of JJ and Tylee. We still don't have any hard evidence that links Chad and Lori to any of these deaths. Is this going to be a hard case to prove for prosecutors? We don't actually know what the evidence is that the prosecutors have. Rich Robertson is the private investigator who was hired in the fall of 2019 to try to find Tylee and JJ. He looked over today's indictment and says he was surprised to see Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell charged in Tammy Daybell's death. We've been waiting to see if there was any evidence that she was murdered because everything up to this point uh, was that she died of natural causes. The indictment doesn't mention much about actual evidence, but it does reference some text messages between Lori and Chad. Does this suggest that there's more of this electronic evidence that may directly tie them to these crimes? Yes, there's going to be uh, text message exchanges, uh, voicemails, computer messages potentially, uh, but it's it's a it's a combination of of all of those things that 
causes cases to come together. We will likely not see much of that evidence unless and until this case makes it to trial. But we will find out within 60 days if prosecutors will seek the death penalty. Jared. It'll be interesting to see what more evidence comes to light in this case. Morgan, thank you very much. Lori Vallow left friends stunned by her seemingly spiritual transformation into another person, somebody capable of being involved in her own children's deaths. One of those friends spoke with Brianna Whitney today, and she's live with this emotional interview tonight. Brianna. You know, this mom's daughter was once best friends with Tylee Ryan, and she'd also spend a lot of time with Lori Vallow, too. But in this web Lori allegedly spun of twists and turns and lies after lies, this family feels murder charges are just. We were moms of kids who were best friends. Echo Itaai Hao thought she knew Lori Vallow well, and in her camera role, she has so many pictures of Lori's teenage daughter, Tylee Ryan, with her daughter, Visea. The two were close for half a decade. The last thing that Visea said was, we got to get together. And Tylee was like, yeah, we do. And then they never did. That's because Tylee Ryan and her little brother, J.J. Vallow, went missing. And now their mom, Lori, and her husband, Chad Daybell, are charged with their murders. Do you think those charges are fair? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they're, the charges are fair. Um, based on everything that I've heard, you know, since, since the kids were found and everything. Echo says while Lori never changed in front of her, she can't believe what's happened in the past couple years. A trail of deaths of people close to her with radical religious beliefs. That's not the Lori she or her daughter knew. So you think um, she just kind of like cracked? Something, I don't know how or why or, or what happened, but I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense to us is that there was some sort of mental break with reality and with the real world. Maybe somehow it blended for her with, you know, the afterlife. She and her daughter will never forget Tylee, and these pictures will forever be extra special. What would you want Tylee to know if you got a chance to talk to her again before she passed away? Oh, wow. That we miss her so much. I mean, you always think somebody's going to be there. Echo told me she didn't expect to get as emotional as she did in our interview since years have passed, but she says it still hurts knowing how close they once were to this family and that they'll never get to see Tylee and JJ again. Reporting live in Phoenix tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.